Now things are heating up over in The Hague where the three month old government is close to upheaval. As the Netherlands has not yet taken a position on EU enlargement, there's now concern over what impact this latest crisis may have. Well, let's get more. We're joined by uh, Louise van der Laan, Vice President of the Civil Liberties Committee of the European Parliament. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. First of all, just um, how close to collapse is, is the uh, Dutch government, Dutch cabinet at the moment? Well, we're waiting for the news from The Hague, and it could happen uh, really within an hour or so. Uh, of course, the relations have been extremely tense uh, since last night. Uh, the country has come to a standstill the previous week because of the death of the uh, husband of the Queen. But the moment the funeral was over, the squabbling started, and uh, the collapse is imminent. What effect will this have on, on EU enlargement or the prospect of EU enlargement? Well, this might actually uh, create a serious obstacle to enlargement. The Dutch debate in the Parliament is scheduled for the 23rd of October, and at that point the Parliament has to give the green light to the government uh, to be able to agree uh, in Brussels on whether the enlargement can go ahead with 10 countries as planned. However, once the Cabinet uh, is no longer um, officially in function, it is going to be very difficult for the Parliament to give that permission. There also seems to be a parliamentary majority in favor of blocking uh, the accession of a number of countries like Poland, uh, Slovakia, because they do not comply with the criteria. So it is, uh, there is a serious risk uh, that the Netherlands will either not be able to take a position or will take a negative position on this important historic question. And does that mean that this Dutch crisis actually could be more important than, than the Irish uh, uh, vote on the Treaty of Nice on Saturday? I think it is actually will make a big difference because uh, I believe that even if the Irish vote no, we can find some kind of technical solution uh, to deal with those requirements uh, that are necessary for the enlargement. But when one country either cannot agree or speaks out of veto, uh, that is of course a serious matter as well. Now I hope it doesn't uh, get that far, but uh, unless this crisis is resolved very quickly and unless the Dutch Parliament takes a very clear position uh, in, on Friday, uh, it could be a serious obstacle. So, so what, what a what are um, people in Brussels saying? Presumably they're getting pretty worried. I've had uh, quite a number of phone calls in the last half hour from uh, colleagues and, and journalists who are really wondering what's happening and whether um, something could actually still at this very late stage block the enlargement. Uh, and I haven't been able to, to reassure them. And I think the, uh, both the 14 current member states, but also of course the uh, 10 candidates who were uh, ready to join, uh, are going to be watching uh, this, uh, this small country uh, with a lot of attention, uh, just as much as they're going to be watching what's happening in Ireland. Mr. Vies van der Laan, thanks very much indeed for joining us.